up people welcome back to the channel so your boy king big red here i'm about to attempt nope i am not a mechanic but i like tinkering so if you've seen on the other videos did the big three on the tire hole did the wheel lights did the rock lights so i'm about to jump into a cold air intake now read the instructions watch multiple videos on youtube pretty simple pretty simple but again i'm not a mechanic i love tinkering i know you do too so that's why you're watching this video but so here we are cold air intake 2001 chevy tahoe it's not a lot of videos on this year make a model of tahoe it's like the 07s 14s etc etc so we're going 2000 to 05 with the uh 5.3 Vortec motor, you know, all the good bells and whistles that Chevy provided for us. Also, I'm going to do a secondary battery tray while I'm under here. So, let's get to it. All right. Had a little difficulty getting um, the sensor off the whole intake again I'm not a mechanic so if my terminology is off don't judge me but um, got that out and like I said I'm going to be doing a second battery tray as well so yeah it's not the prettiest thing underneath here but this is going to get removed I got wires all over the place. I'm going to have to do some readjusting and uh, take the coolant on uh, this out. This has to be removed as well um, for the air intake tray. Here's a little bit of that. So I went with uh, our tools racing. Got the instructions in here. Start unboxing this. The box got to put together the intake. Black and red, of course. All the hardware. What is my other car? It's filthy. And, of course, I'm working with one hand. But, uh, here's the filter. Probably not the entire best filter in the world, but, um, our tunes but um from everything I looked up that um increased horsepower a little bit I'm not gonna be uh doing 10 down a quarter but have a little fun just get a little increase while I'm underneath there wipe some stuff down looking kind of filthy so let's get back to it All right, so if you jump on and get one of these aftermarket secondary battery uh, positioning posts, particles, whatever. Anyway, so I had to do a little trimming on one of the bolt holes. It was just slightly off, slightly, and I mean slightly. And I had to do a little trimming just so it all fit in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's get in here. These two here, and the one down there, the one at the bottom was slightly off. So I just brought out drill bit, just trimmed it a little bit. Fits in there nice and flush. All holes line up here, here underneath uh, your coolant reservoir. All the holes line up. About to throw all these bolts back in, finish the intake. And we own a cracker. All right, so as you can see, we got the 
box mounted. I know that seems sketchy, but from other videos, I've seen that's where you get your mass airflow in. You know, more air, more horsepower. All right, secondary battery tray installed. Not adding the battery just yet, but I got it. Got it for a good price, so threw it in while I'm under here. So I'm just thinking about it. I might just throw this bracket back on here <clears throat> for the time being until I'm ready to throw that other battery in. So throw that in. All right. Time to put that bad boy together. Got the brackets, air filter. Again, I'm not a mechanic. I'm reading instructions. So I'm going to go through it, knock that out, and uh, get done, get ready for the game. All right, so I'm going to spare you all the boring rest of this just tightening down bolts and, I mean, uh, clamps and whatnot. So let me finish up. Be right back. All right, got everything buttoned up. Took me a minute because these uh, brackets, braces, whatever you want to call them, take a lot of, a lot of torquing. Um, but we got it together. I haven't cranked it up yet. I'm not running the house, get the keys and all that good stuff. So here it is. All right. A little sun glare and everything, but got everything buttoned up. Like I said, some clamps with something else getting through there. All right. Sensor back attached. Filter. All together, let me see if I can get a better angle. Okay, all right. I said everything buttoned up quite nicely, nice and secure. Now, what I don't like is this these little foam pieces. So, I will be run to the auto parts store or rallies, uh, auto zone or something, and get some, got some weather stripping right there. I saw this little piece here. Can't get that to connect, but I ain't stressing that. I'll try it again later. No worries. But here it is. Air intake 01 Tahoe with 140,000 miles on it, if I say so myself. Um, no major issues. Smooth installation. Um, the instructions was right on point from our tunes. Clean fit. Seen in there, I had to do a little trim here. Coming out the throttle body, just, just a little trim. I'm not going to stress that. It does not in any way, shape, or form hit the fan. Everything clears. You know, it was just this little lip here. Everything clears, and I'm happy with it. So that's it from... For this little installation, it's your boy King Big Red in the garage. We outside, and till next time, peace. Cleveland, this is for you.